welcome to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at your waist, turn your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful. Shift your weight to the left foot. Good Tai Chi posture. Kick your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two, three. Hands at your waist. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heisman, opening up your span, parallel feet, choose the right side, cross and sit on that side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good Tai Chi posture, straight up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short one, one, two, three, four, five. Other way, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good golden cockerel, good Tai Chi posture. Dropping those shoulders, giving enough space between your two feet. Shift weight to the left, spiral, counterbalance, and up. set. Kicking out. 50-50, gather energy, center energy. Right hand, right foot out. Follow, counterbalance. Center and out. Set. Holding our ball, root down, out into the side, L stance, bow stance. Use your hips and waist, twist step, L stance. Bow stance. Sit back, sit down, twist step, T stance, L stance, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot, twist step, T stance, L stance, bow stance. Listen carefully, sit back, sit down, twist step, brush your knee. Set it up, multitask, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot, set it up, multitask, turn the hips and waist, brush knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot, set it up correctly, multitask, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, Pivot, set it up correctly, multitask, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot, hold your ball. We're going to grasp the bird's tail out into the side, ward off. Turn the hips and waist, reposition the hands, sit down, turn the hips and waist, contact, turn again, push the energy through, separate. Roll back and sit down, spiral up and lunge forward. Twist step, T stance, ward off. Turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn again, push the energy through, separate and roll back and sit down, spiral up and lunge forward. Twist, T. Ward off, forearm, grasp the bird's tail. Listen carefully, we're going to part the wild horse's mane. Out and to the side, part the wild horse's mane. Cloud hands in the 10 form. Pivot to the nine. 
3 o'clock, two things happen. One thing happens at 9. Two things happen at 3. Close the form, T-step, hold the ball out into the side, ward off. Turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, push, roll back, sit down, spiral up, lunge forward. Other side, twist, T, L, ward off. Turn hips and waist. Grasp the bird's tail. Okay, I want a good closing form, so that's why we're here. Sit down, roll up forward. Twist, open pivot, in pivot, tuck the right hand in, put the right foot together, rotate on the wrist, bring him closer, push him away. Drop the shoulders, tuck the elbows, flex the knees, let gravity take you all back home. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is do the um, 16 coming forward, okay? So go back a little bit, slightly back, and look to the clock wall, okay? Let's take the whole thing first and then we'll break it down towards the end movements. Your Tai Chi posture, commencing form, shift weight to the right, heel of the left, on the toe, open, toe, arch, heel, hands rotate, deep breath, elevate, exhale, make yourself small, hold your ball on the T stance, out into the side, part the wild horse's mane, one. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, hold your ball, heel and hands, part the wild horse's mane, two. Half step forward, hold your ball, spin the ball as you sit back on your left foot, watch the elevating hand on the toe of the front, set it up correctly, white crane spreads its wings. Drop the front foot, tuck the elbow in, bisect your body to your Dantan, swirl back, look back, lift the front, set it up, multitask to brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, set it up correctly, multitask to brush your knee, final. Sit back, sit down, as if you're going to brush your knee, the left hand is high, the right hand is low, but it's fisted. Shift your weight, bring down the high hand, bring up the low hand, put your heel out, deflect towards the right, as you bring it in, parry, cross that midline, then punch forward. Touch, roll back, sit down, push him down, spiral up, lunge forward. Okay, there's, we know where Calvin and Donna are, okay? Pivot on the back, pivot on the front, hook the back hand, T stance, Left hand across the face, out L stance, push out, single whip. Half step forward, swirl that right hand, rock the front foot as you shift your weight, set it up correctly, play your lute. Center the front hand, back hand higher, we're gonna walk backwards as we repulse the monkey, all together. Ear, toe, heel, Pivot on the ball of your foot as you meet in the center. Slide back, push forward. Center, lead with the toe, left hand higher, glance all together. Lift, ear, toe, heel, pivot in the middle, meet in the middle, slide two. Pivot the front foot on its heel. Parouette on the toe of your back foot Leave the hands where they are. So right now, the left hand is two inches below your navel, and your right hand is catching the ball from the ceiling. We call it, just, I call it an inside-out ball. So when we now have our weight on the left foot, we're gonna kick out with the right of our 
right foot heel, and at the same time, spin and correct that ball. Weight on the right, and Layden shuttles on her left. So let's turn back this way. So now you see that the online lesson should really work because the angle of the camera is this way and sometimes this way, so you know what to do. So it pays to kind of um, give yourself more options for learning, okay? All right, let's do another one. Let's do two, two regular way first, okay? And then we'll come back to it, okay? So going to the left, young 16, shift weight to the right, heel, toe off the ground, toe arch, heel, rotate your hands, deep breath in as you elevate, drop that water, reverse the process, push that water down, farm your ball on a T stance without raising your shoulder, out into the side, Part the wild horse's mane one. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, ball for better balance, out on your heel, part the wild horse's mane two. Calf step forward, hold your ball, spin the ball to the right, sit back on the back foot, watch that left hand advance on the toe of your front, set it up correctly. Drop the front foot, Tuck the elbow in as you bisect your body. Swirl back, look back at your left hand that's higher. Set it up, multitask, turn the hips and waist, brush knee one. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, set it up correctly. Multitask, turn the hips and waist, brush knee final. Sit back, sit down, pivot, Left hand goes high as if you're gonna brush your knee. Right hand stays low with a fist. Exchange the positions, out with your heel. Deflect to the right. Parry coming in, forward, punch. Strip the guy off your, your body, roll back and sit down. Spiral up and lunge forward. You're gonna pivot on the back heel Pivot on the right heel, shift the weight, hook the hand, T stance, bring that left hand across and out, L stance, single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, put it on its heel, play your lute. Leave all your feet in the same position, center the left hand, Glance at the right hand that's higher, you're gonna multitask. Ear, lift, toe, heel, pivot on the ball, meet in the center, slide back, push forward. Center, lead with the toe, glance at the back, all together, lift off, ear, heel, meet, pivot, slide. Let's go slowly. Pivot the front foot, Shift the weight to that back foot as you pirouette. That all it means is to stand, um, lift the heel of the right foot up so you're on the toe, but the weight remains on the back. To allow our right foot to spin out on its heel, okay? And the hand position now is there's a cup of the left hand two inches below your navel, and the right hand is catching the ball from the ceiling. You're in this awkward position, but you want to spin out so that your right heel is flat to the floor as you reposition your, your body and your, ha your hands and you're in the clock wall. Shift the weight and maiden on her left. Sit back, sit down, pivot in, hold your ball. Right or bottom hand advances, therefore the right heel comes up, out. As the right hand goes to the forehead, you push to put the shuttlecock right there. Okay, and then I've lost you, but you can still do it, okay? Listen and watch. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, left hand, sets it up, goes to the bottom of the seat. One hand comes up, two hands come up, then your foot comes up, and then you take the forward, Heel and you flash arms like a fan. Sit back, sit down, pivot, nine o'clock. What's at nine o'clock? 
cloud hands. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, two things happen. 3 o'clock, we're ending our cloud hands. So we close the feet and we form a ball on a T-stand. So we still got a lot, but then all of this is kind of confusing because we are turning, we are spinning, okay? So your job is to do some homework, okay? But right now, um, just, just watch, okay? Just watch. I'll take it from the beginning because I'm not sure how to get into the... So it was very hard for me because you guys are all watching me, but not only that, I was going much slower, but I was slower because I wanted to um, show you the, the definite detail. All right, so we're going to start with 
play your lute this way and coming forward, okay? I mean, going back. Play your lute two times to repulse the monkey. Center the front hand, back hand higher, all together. Lift, ear, toe, heel, pivot, meet, slide. Center, glance, lead with the toe, ear, toe, heel, pivot, meet, slide. Okay, pivot the front heel, parouette the back, upside down ball or inside out ball. Kick out with the right heel, reposition the ball. Watch your spotters, out with your heel, turn the ball, maiden on her left. Sit back, sit down, pivot in, hold your ball, heel out, spin the ball, maiden on her right. Half step to the back and we'll stop, okay? All right, so just the way you're having trouble seeing, I'm having trouble figuring out what, how you can see. So I could actually take that to my front of the room and then you'd have to watch somebody here, but you, you, you have to know something to grab onto something new. You can't grab all, all new things at once without having some, something pretty stable. So that's the premise I'm gonna be teaching on. When you're doing the, 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 the turn to do your, your, your maiden, you have to sort of have in your mind, where am I going to end up? So you have to know the sequence and you have to know the end point, okay? And that's what your mind helps you to do, to say, this is where my body will end up being. And then from there, how do you get there, okay? If you don't know where you're going to land intellectually and your body is spinning in space, you might be frustrated as to where you go, okay? So know sort of where I wanna be. The second thing is sometimes in this particular form or this particular movement, you have to trust your body. You have to start to think, okay, it must not be that complicated for me to get to where I need to go because Tai Chi doesn't make it so you're all over the place, right? Unless in your mind you're not used to, to the movements of Tai Chi, so that becomes a problem. But otherwise, if you're spinning, you have to have figure how are my hands and my legs and body going to be moving in smooth and circular arrangements? And sometimes you have to play with it so that you, you get an idea. You know where you want to land intellectually. You sort of know what things go into each movement. You know how to do, well, this is the first time you folks are encountering Maiden, which is a move, right? So that, that, that you have to know that, okay, the basic of the movements. Because if you, you start off, you're going to be going this way, this way, and then you gotta turn, you're gonna turn your ball, and you're gonna go this way. In the 24, that's how it goes. So you can, you learn, versus uh, 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 in the, the, the 16, well, in the 16, you're, you're, you're spinning to get into that position, then you're spinning again to get into the other position. It makes that maneuver. Just whether you start off on the 24, you will be going right side, whether you're going left side, versus the 16, you're going left side, and then right side, okay? Okay, but. so I'm gonna save you folks, okay? <laughs> Actually, we didn't do maiden, so what Ken's talking about might be a little foreign, okay? But he's right, but for now, a little bit premature. All right, so I'm gonna get you as best as I can to do the pivot on the front, pirouette on the back, and then we're gonna work on maiden. So we all agree that no matter how we stand and how we plant people, there's still gotta be practice. And we've got two cameras 
on me and you can see the different things going on. In class, you've got people you can watch, okay? So we agree it's difficult. We agree that it's not gonna be magic and we're not gonna be able to just not practice and get it, okay? But I wanna, I wanna go over it one more time and then move on and then we can renew it next week, okay? So how do we get there? Um, play your lute. Let's play our lute this way for a different angle, okay? Play your lute. Center the front hand, glance at the back hand that's higher, all together. Lift off, ear, toe, heel. Uh, pivot on the ball as you meet, slide. We pulse one, meet with the toe, higher, glance, all together. Ear, toe, heel, meet in the center, pivot, slide. Pivot, no problem, right? Pivot the front, so now you're towards, looking towards the wall, perhaps. Lift to the toe of your right, inside out ball. What are you gonna do? You're gonna shift your weight from the left to the right, but you're landing on the heel of your right. Spin, turn, heel of the right, reposition the ball, okay? Heel out, maiden on her left, okay? Now, Let's see, um, just bear with me because I want to bring you forward, okay, to teach you Maiden, but I've got to get my, my um, location right. So we have one, two, last repulsing, pivot on the front, pirouette on the back. No problem, you just shifted your weight and you're on the toe because the weightless foot now can spin out and turn the hand. But you're supposed to be watching and then down and then here, okay? So one more time, you're gonna watch, okay? Because I'm, I'm trying to find my location. You can help me by answering my question when we're done to keep my, my space or the angle that I need. Pivot, pirouette. So this is where I want to be, okay? And then I'm gonna spin, and then I'm gonna mate, I'm gonna teach you maiden. Can someone show me where I'm supposed to be? How am I supposed to be? Because I wanna go forward. Uh, uh, pivot on the front, pirouette on the back. Okay, um, pivot on the front, pirouette on the back here. This is where I want to be because I want you to see me in the forward position. So we're going to take everything towards that door now, okay? We are left foot forward, um, right foot on a 45. We want to pivot on the front foot, pirouette on the back, right? You got your hands goofy? Spin out with the right, reposition the hand. Spin out with the left, and shuttles on her. Let's take it through, sit back, sit down. This time we're gonna pivot in. We're gonna hold our ball. When our left heel comes up, our, I mean, when our right heel goes out, our right hand starts to shift. As it goes to the forehead, we turn our hips and waist and we put the shuttlecock right there. Let's do it all so you can see. Take that left foot back, take the right hand up, all together go down to the bottom of the C to find that needle. One hand comes up, two hands come up, bend your foot, stretch out, flash your arms like a fan. Sit back, sit down, pivot, cloud hands. One, Two things happen at nine, two. Two things happen at three. Close the feet, close the hand, reposition to a T stance, hold the ball, and then we're going to ward off and grasp her. Is that right? 
Yes, something's not right. I really, yeah, no, that is right. Yeah, that is right. Okay, so we've now gained some mileage, okay? We know now that we have to slant towards that door. Uh, actually, not really, okay? Slanting towards the, uh, those, um, by the guys over there. Left foot forward, right foot, uh, 45. We are going to pivot on our front, pirouette on the back. Pivot on the heel of the front, pirouette on the back. Kick out with the left, right heel and right heel, uh, uh, left heel there, okay? So let's just work on the feet now, okay? So we said that we're sort of by that uh, camera, the panning camera, and our left foot is forward on a bow stance, and the right foot is on a 45 in the back. We want to sit back, pivot on the front foot, pirouette on the back. Which foot's going to move now? I'm not going to take my planted foot, I'm going to fall. The weightless foot now from the pirouette kicks out to the heel and heel and this way. Okay, one more time. Towards the panning camera, left foot forward, right foot 45, no hands. Sit back, sit down. Pivot on the heel of the left, pirouette on the right or back, spin out with your right heel, come out with your left heel, okay? So again, left foot forward, sit back, pivot, pirouette, kick out right, firm down, heel left. Okay, good, all right? Getting really good one more time and then we're gonna put hands. Left foot forward, sit back, sit down. Pivot, pirouette, spin out right, left heel out. Okay, let's put hands, okay? Left heel, left foot out, 45 for the back, and we are, uh, we pulse the monkey this way, I believe. Yeah, left, okay, easy. Left foot is forward, left hand is forward, catching that ball from the palm, uh, ceiling. Right hand is short, it's by your hip. You had just finished repulsing of the monkey. So here we're lined up nicely. Left hand, left foot are advanced. Right hand is back because our right foot is a 45 degree on the back. We're gonna sit back. Therefore, you're on your heel, right? Pivot on the heel. When you pirouette, the left foot takes your weight. What happens to the right? It's gotta go up because it's on its toe. Do you get it? One more time. Left foot first, forward, right foot 45. Left hand, like your left foot, right hand, both our palms up at your, he at your hip. Sit back, sit down. The only foot that can move is the right, it's weightless. Pivot on the right, firm down on the toe of your right, inside out ball, right? What are you gonna do? The only foot that you can move is the toed foot, which is right. Spin out with your heel of the right, reposition your ball. Spin out with your left heel, and Maiden shuttles on her left. Sit back, sit down. Pivot in, hold your ball. Right heel comes out, right hand comes out. As it goes to the forehead, shuttlecock goes right there. Okay? So that's, your, that's the piece. That's the piece that we've been trying to figure out and do. So is it easy? Oh, so you've got to practice, okay, practice. And um, we can practice here in class, and then it gets kind of tiring, but it does work.
but then to keep it in your, your repertoire, in your mind, you've got to go back and revisit it and practice it more until it becomes pretty automatic. Once you get it, it's a guarantee it's going to be a really pretty uh, uh, movement, okay? But it happens very fast. No one's going to call it for you, but your body's just <coughs> going to be trained. Do this, do that. But what I try to offer and tell you in doing this whole thing is that you don't have to remember which foot does what because there's always a weighted foot and only the insubstantial and weightless foot can then move. So you don't have to say to yourself, which foot do I move? One, all, one has to always, okay, watch what I'm going to do. This is how I set you up. Sit back, sit down, weightless foot, pivot, substantial, weightless on the right. Therefore, which foot do I move? The smart way. The smart way. Every pattern, everything, there's a pattern. Weightless, firm down, it can move. Weightless, it can move and it can be then weighted. Maiden works two times, then she comes across, and she goes down like this to the bot, not the maiden, but you go down to find the, the needle, out, flash arms. Then the rest is cloud hands. Two things happen. Two things happen. Only two cloud hands. But there's a quick step here. Three o'clock, close, T, ball. Then the rest is easy, ward off, okay? All right, any questions so far? We're gonna practice a little bit more. Five more minutes of practicing. Any questions? Is it getting easier? I'm not asking you, yeah, it's getting easier, but it's easy to forget too, right? So we want to tr train our bodies. All right. Left foot forward towards the panning camera. Right foot on a 45. Match it with your hand. Left hand forward. Both hands are palms up. Okay? Right hand back towards your right hip. Sit back, sit down. Pivot, shift your weight to that left on the toe of the right, inside out ball. What are you gonna do? Spin out with your right heel, reposition your ball. Left heel comes out, left hand comes out to the forehead, turn the hips and waist, shuttle left. Sit back, sit down, pivot in, hold ball. Right heel comes out, right hand spins the ball to the forehead, shuttlecock there. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, down to the bottom of the seat. Okay, and we won't worry about this one because if you come and you show me that you know the, um, the spin, the uh, pivoting and the pirouetting, we can easily tackle the maiden works or shuttle, okay? Watch one more time, okay? Watch one more time. We said that we're in a bow stance. The left foot is forward. The left hand is forward, matching the, what's on the bottom and what's on the top matches. The right hand is short. It's down to the side of the hip. We're in a bow stance because we just finished repulsing of the monkey. We want to sit back, sit down. We want to sit back, sit down, weightless foot in the front. It can pivot to pirouette. We have an inside out ball. Everything's brought to the center. We're in good Tai Chi position, optimal position. The only foot that is weightless can move. Therefore, it has to, right foot has to come out with a heel. And this helps me with my centering. I'm gonna shift my weight, my back foot now has to come out, my left hand has to come out, and Maiden then puts her shuttlecock right there. Not with her hands, but with her hips and waist. 
I sit back and I sit down. Weightless foot has to do something. It pivot, pivots in. I can hold my ball weight on the left. My right hand is going to come out this way. It's going to rotate. My right foot comes out. I rotate the ball. Comes to, as it comes to my forehead, I put my shuttlecock right there. I take a half step to the back. My right hand goes across the hips and waist. I set up my left hand. I lift, I lift off the ground, and I go to the bottom of the seat. One hand comes up, two hands come up for more stability, then my foot comes up, and I'm ready to stretch out, flash arms like a fan. I sit back, I sit down, I pivot 12 o'clock. How do I get to the nine? We learned that in 10 form. We pivot out to the uh, nine o'clock. But this time, don't close the feet, because in cloud hands in the 16, we only go to the right. Well, now we're going to the left, but the direction of our feet are only to the right. Using our hips and waist, closing the feet, quick step on a tee and a ball, and then we're warding off, finishing it up, turn the hips and waist to grasp the bird's tail, look back, Energy in the front, push, separate, roll back, sit down, spiral up, lunge forward. You can still pick up things, okay? Twist step, T stance, L stance, bow stance, ward off. Turn the hips and waist, don't worry about your hands, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, but turn again, energy in the front, push, separate, roll back, sit down, push them down, spiral up and lunge forward. Twist. What do we do? Other side now. Pivot out. This time we want to come in, so this time takes two times. We cross now with the right hand inside the cross. Once we're stable there, then we lift off the ground, close the feet, rotate the hands so the palms are facing, bring it to our chest, push them closer, then push them away. Okay, separate the hands. What we do is multitasking again. We're going to drop the shoulders, flex the knees, and tuck the elbow. Gravity brings us down, up with the heel, off the ground, close your forearm. OK, so this last piece is good because I want you to watch it to prepare you, yourselves for the next lesson, OK? So every time we try to add on things. But before we add on, we can renew the previous movements. So get it a little better. And um, although I don't want Tai Chi to be ever stressful, um, take it as a part of your journey to challenge your mind, make your mind so strong that you can apply what you hear and, and a process and teach your body something new, okay? And we're on a really good journey from there. Okay, good job. Yay, see you next time.